The 1973 U.S. Supreme Court case Roe v. Wade forever changed the United States by giving women a legal right to abortion. Jane Roe in the case was Norma McCorvey, an abortion advocate who worked in four different abortion facilities in the 90s in Dallas. By 1995, Operation Rescue, an anti-abortion organization, moved in next to one of her clinics and was outwardly praying for her. In the summer, in August of 1995, Norma had, had left the abortion industry, had accepted the invitation of a seven-year-old little girl named Emily, who was the daughter of one of the Operation Rescue workers, team members, to go to church. And Norma had gone to church. She gave her heart to Jesus, did the altar call. And then on August 8th of 1995, the Reverend Flip Benham, who was the head of Operation Rescue, baptized Norma and she began volunteering for Operation Rescue. She began befriending um, several more of us who were Catholic and was drawn to the Catholic faith. Norma's conversion continued. In 1998, Karen was present as Norma was confirmed in the Catholic faith by Father Frank Pavone, the National Director of Priests for Life. I, I really didn't even understand what the word abortion meant. I've got to confess that too. and. I, I, was, I was in shame for a great many years, and I, I drank a great deal. I, I, I did everything like in the world to, to keep everything suppressed. From 2000 to 2005, she worked to reverse the Supreme Court's decision, but was not successful. Abortion is final. There's no way a child can uh, recover from an abortion. So I, I really don't have any particular words to say in 60 seconds yes. that, that would change anyone's mind. It's just that they should seek um, counseling from their pastors. Yes. Uh, they should go to their priest or their parish. Yes. Uh, they, should, they should really reconsider the dangerous thought that they just had about hurting their baby. Karen affirms that Norma was a member of the anti-abortion family and was loved and forgiven. Karen was by Norma's side as she was dying in 2017. Uh, Norma's conversion was, was authentic. She also had no idea that now 60 million precious preborn children would lose their lives and, and that abortion would hurt so many women all of these years later. So. She dedicated her life after her conversion. Norma dedicated the rest of her life to working hard to try to overturn that decision which bore her name. Norma had established the Row No More Ministry and written various books on her new work. She helped in the anti-abortion ministry and worked on healing from the guilt she felt after that famed Roe versus Wade decision in 1973.